a great reunion between two old friends. It's gonna make me cry. What's up, YouTubers of the world? Mega Geek Mixer here to give you guys chapter 952 of One Piece called Kamamatsu and Hiyori. Funny how it's called that title, especially since we only get them from the beginning to the end. And in the middle, we get other situation reports, update reports on things going on on the rebel side of, of things. <laughs> But hey, either way, I still like this chapter in that it gave us some updates, updates either way. But also in the fact that even though the title was called that and we didn't really get much of it, it was still a touching reunion between Kawamatsu and Hiyori. So beautiful, <laughs> but de but definitely it still has you looking forward to some things going what may be in a good position right now with the Rebels, considering some of the situation reports they've been given here. But let's get but let's also get into the fact and starting from the beginning that Zoro did exactly what he said he would do in a few chap in the last chapter a few chapters ago, and that was go back after Kayuki Maru, and the reason for that so we can get his sword the she sweep back but no matter what that guy wasn't gonna let him pass by that bridge and there was a reason for that it's because when she she sweep was lost to was stolen from them all those years ago he made it the yugimara made uh, made an interesting uh, comment or statement saying that doing so angered what he calls the sword gods and that the country flew was overrun and villages and stuff first villages until the entire country became overrun it makes me interested in this thing with the sword god and how the village was overrun almost as if it's trying to tell him almost as if it could connect with what happened back in um back in 20 years ago when Odin was overthrown by Orochi. It really does curi may have my curiosity there, but no doubt we are all going to be getting that flashback soon. Somewhere down the line, before or during the during the war, we are going to get a flashback of how Orochi came into power and how he overthrew and how he overthrew Odin. But while those two were fighting, eventually Kawamatsu shows up and stops them from fighting. And that is where he, he and Hiyori were reunited. <laughs> and it, like I said, it was such a beautiful reunion. And the way she was crying and the way it showed how powerful their bond was. A shame that, uh, that it kind of got broken up. All thanks to some more of Orochi, Orochi's men showing up and shooting Kiyuki Maru. I'm like... Dang, guys, whoa, how can you re stop a reunion by interrupting that? Well, it turns out Kiyuki Maru had taken weapons from those guys, which is no surprise. Kiyuki Maru really looked like a guy who was stealing weapons from all over the place and stuff. And now, and that makes you start hard to see that he's just an enemy to everybody. But while, but while he got shot and everything, Zoro and Awamatsu stopped those guys, but and this is where we learn that Kiyuki Maru is is a follower of Kawamatsu. Uh, well, I don't know about follower, but he seems to be like an old friend of his, if not a follower. Who, who knows? All we know is maybe now that Kiyu, we know Kiyuki Maru is friends or an ally of Kawamatsu, maybe he'll finally be able to let Zoro pass. That's only if once Iori introduces Kawamatsu to who Zoro is and knowing that he's an ally of Luffy's. And because here's the thing, yeah, Kawamatsu in the last chapter or two, he got off of U Udon, Udon prison and it, and it didn't take him long to get over to the island. So yeah, he's definitely got a lot to let Zoro be updated on. But while all that was happening, speaking of Yudon, so back up over in ono, Onigashima, the battle between Kaido and Big Mom is still going on. And everyone's just wondering, shouldn't we leave and stuff? Because it looks like this could go on forever. And if they get serious, we aren't going to survive much longer. Queen, <laughs> and Queen's like, come 
oh, guys, we got to stay and look after Kaido. And then he just tries to find some casual way of saying, like, um, while well, you guys wait here, hey, why don't I go to Udon and check things out? And they're like, you just want to get out this island. <laughs> oh, it's so hilarious on that end. <laughs> but but before deciding to go check on Udon, he gets a call back from Bamanu. Bamanuki, the jailer, and it turns out he just says that we, we don't need help. All is good here. Well, well, how's that possible? Well, we all know what's really happened, and it turns out, ah, the power of Tama, Tama's devil fruit powers with those dangos, able to control any animal, animal or zone type user. <laughs> like I said, that girl's power is going to be a very useful tool tool later on but i highly doubt they will like put her up in the front of the battle <laughs> yeah i'm sure still she'll use her powers to help out in some way but right now the way she's doing it bam good job girl and chopper he 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 already found the cure to the virus to the mummy virus luffy's all better the prisoners are all better and all is good and this is where while we get this we actually find out about more of the Yakuza's back from 20 years ago. Yeah, we actually get introduced to them, but but I made a list here so I can try to get try to remember who they are, cause that that was a long list of who they are and what bo boss of a of a town they were in. So we have Omasa from Yudon, <laughs> the very place that they're on right now. Um, someone named Sunagaro from Hakuma. And Cho from Ringo and Yatavi, Yatavi from Kibi. So it turns out that yeah, these guys, these four Yakuza bosses, are people who were friends with ha hey, I mean hi hi Hagiro, yeah Hagiro, and it turns, and yeah, loyal friends of Hagiro, and they were. And they all reunite, and they actually reveal that there are more rebels hidden throughout the country. And I'm sure we probably met some of those rebels, like some who are with Kinemon, but maybe there are also some that maybe Sanji and the others might have ran into here or there. Hopefully so. But before they leave, Luffy, with his usual way of greeting people and calling them old man, gramps, and bastards and stuff, it got those guys so mad. They just wanted to be like, hey, boss, so what should we cut off to make him apologize for being rude to you? <laughs> and, and and during that time, when I got I got a message from my friend saying, what is Luffy? When is Luffy going to learn some manners? <laughs> of course, see, that was just a rhetorical question. He knows very well, as I do, that this is Luffy. I, he don't know how to show manners. <laughs> but it still brought back memories, and I loved it. <laughs> but all that aside, though, while all that went on, you guys remember how Frankie was going undercover so he could find the blueprints to Kaido's mansion so, so they could know the layout of places and that way be able to set up a, a set up a sneak attack or know how to attack once the war began well have we, when we found out that frank that the blueprints were gone a long time ago and frankie's mission was for was just for not it turns out it's because ashura had already taken those blueprints away a long time ago so yes Kinemon now has the blueprints in his hand, and with that, he gets a report from Razu on what happened on Yudon and how they have so many new allies, and they've now made Yudon their base of operation. This also now makes Kinemon know that he needs to head over to to a village over in Ringo so he can get some more allies. I think so. I think about it. Yeah, I think so. And that's pretty much all that happened in this chapter. But, pr and yeah, that's pretty much all that happened in this chapter. All that it l was left with was what I said earlier. And the fact that, um... <laughs> Hiyori was reunited with Kawamatsu, and those guys started shooting Gayuki Maru. But still, all this information and stuff, very informative of what's going down right now. I'm I'm hoping though next next week's chapter we get will we'll get us at least more focus on Zoro and Hiyori and Ka Ka 
Kawamatsu, Kawamatsu and hopefully give us more info on this Giyuki Maru guy because th those guys I was really interested in and I was thinking that would be the focal point of the chapter. A little disappointed on that end, but in the end, this was still a good chapter because we got so much information and, uh, on what's going on right now and how the tide of things are turning for the rebels, at least in preparation, because we still don't have all the information on the enemy side on what they're going to be doing. Sure, they don't know a war is about to start. They know about some rebellion some rebellions out there and stuff, because let's not forget Trafalgar Law has been captured, but by no means is Trafalgar Law going to give out info. He obviously made himself get captured, and that and the way he smiled at X Drake and Basil, Basil Hawkins show that he has some sort of plan. So be on the lookout for that, guys, because he's obviously got things planned here. But, all, but other than that, though, what else can we expect? There's so much to expect here. It's just got me psyched. <laughs> oh, and also, it's great that it, it was made sense that last week we got a break due to One Piece Stampede, which I haven't unfortunately seen yet, but I'll be waiting for that. And when I do, I am definitely going to be reviewing that. So, people, when I get a chance to see that, I am definitely going to review it. So, be on the lookout sometime in the future to when that thing comes out. <laughs> we that I'll be reviewing it. But if some of y'all maybe already have seen it, please please send me a link or something so I can see it because I'm desperately wanting to see that one. With all the gathering of all those pirates, it's got me excited. But until then, guys, if you enjoy my videos, all you gotta do is click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I make more videos. Until then, Mega Geek Mixer, signing out. Bye!